Hey, what's up again, everyone, and thanks for stopping by here on this lesson where we are going to explore a unique method for finding the product of two binomials. So let's just jump into this example here where we need to write the product in expanded form of the binomial x plus 3 and the binomial x minus 7. Now, there are a few different strategies for multiplying binomials, but for this lesson, we are going to focus on the box method. And if you've ever studied a Punnett square in science class before, or if you've ever played bingo before, this method will be very easy for you, I promise. <laughs> cool. Now, to use the box method, the first thing that you have to do is draw a box. And then you want to split the box into four equal size sections. Now we want to start by taking one of the binomials, in this case x plus 3, we usually take the first one, and put it horizontally along the top of the box. And then our second binomial, we align vertically along the left side of the box. Now notice how the terms of each binomial are aligned with either a row or a column inside of the box. And now we are ready to start multiplying. Each section of the inside of our box is going to represent a product. And once we find those four products, we can check to see if we can combine any like terms and then write the product in expanded form. So if we start with the top left section of our box, that is the product of x and x, which we know is just x squared. Now we can move on to the top right section, which is the product of x and positive 3, which we know is just 3x. Next is the bottom left section, which is the product of x and negative 7, which is negative 7x. And finally, our bottom right section is the product of positive 3 and negative 7, which equals negative 21. So now that the inside sections of our box are complete, we need to add these four terms together to write the product of the original two binomials in expanded form. So now we can write the sum of the four terms, starting with x squared plus 3x plus a negative 7x, or just minus 7x, and plus a negative 21, or just minus 21. Now our expression is in expanded form, but we should notice that we do have a pair of like terms. Notice that 3x and negative 7x are like terms, and we can combine them as negative 4x, and now we are left with a trinomial, x squared minus 4x minus 21, represents the expanded form version of the product of x plus 3 and x minus 7. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take on a little bit more challenging example. So now we are going to multiply the binomial 4x squared plus y and the binomial 5x squared minus 8y. Now we are going to use the box method to find this product. So again, we're going to start with one binomial and align it above the top row, and our second binomial we will align along the left column. Now, just a quick note, you could have done this in reverse order, putting the second binomial on top and the first binomial vertically along the side, because we know that multiplication is commutative and the order doesn't make a difference. So now let's go ahead and start multiplying and finding our terms. Our first section, 5x squared times 4x squared, is equal to 20x to the fourth power. Remember, you add the exponents when you multiply them with bases that are the same. For the top right section of our box, we need the product of 5x squared and y, which is just 5x squared y. I can't go any further with that product. For the bottom left section of our box, we need the product of negative 8y and 4x squared, which is negative 32x squared y. And finally, for our bottom right section, the product of negative 8y and y, which is negative 8y squared. Okay, so now we are done with the hard part of filling in the inside of our box. And just like the last example, now we want to find the sum of those four terms See if we can simplify and end with a product in expanded form. 
So let's start out with our first term, 20x to the fourth power. Next, we should notice that we have a pair of like terms, negative 32x squared y and 5x squared y are both x squared y terms. So we can combine them by finding the sum of the coefficients, which in this case is negative 27 x squared y. And now all that we have to do is include the minus 8y squared term, and now we have our product in expanded form, and we're done. Now just a quick note that not every example will include like terms. So make sure you always check to see if there are like terms, but if there aren't, that's okay, just go forward with it anyway. And that's really all there is to it. I really like the box method versus things like double distribution or the distributive method because it's very visual, it's very organized, and it reduces the amount of mistakes that you'll make, especially if you're the kind of student who likes to learn visually and likes to use diagrams and tables to organize your thinking. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you guys all next time. See ya. <laughs> cool. All right, everyone, that was it for that lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. Be sure to click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We have some really awesome stuff coming. We don't want you to miss out. And also be sure to subscribe to our mailing list. The link is in the description below. We send out a newsletter every week, updating you on all the cool stuff that Mashup Math is up to. It's all really cool content. It's all free. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're everywhere, guys. So. Don't miss out. Check us out. Subscribe to that mailing list and you'll be good to go. And we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.